Hello guys, I'm Kat Valk and I'm here today with another scroller box and this is October's box and I'm gonna open it and take a look at the supplies inside and then I'm gonna try to make something with them as usual so stay tuned for that. Also this box is a little special to me because it has my artwork inside. I'm the featured artist of October so I've been helping to choose some of the supplies that's inside, stuff that I like to use when I draw. So I really really hope you like this one, I've been so excited to share this with you. Also before we start the unboxing and the drawing, I have another little announcement. Scrollerbox and I are doing a giveaway together, so there are a lot of awesome things that you can win. The first thing is a full set of Spectrum NAR markers, which are 220 pence in total. That is a lot of markers. And the second thing that you can win is October's scroller box, which is this one I'm gonna open today. And you will get a new one, of course. And from me, you will win the original version of the artwork that is in this October's box. So there will be one person that wins a lot of markers, awesome scroller box, and an original artwork made by me. So the only thing that you need to do to enter this giveaway is to click the link in the info box below to Rafflecopter and just do as the instructions tells you. All the info that you will need and all the stuff, I will leave it in the info box below, so check that out. So let's open this box. First we have the sticker and the candy, and I hope it's licorice, my favorite. And here's my artwork as a cute little print, and some secret information about me on the backside that you can read if you want to. I've seen a few people on Instagram that actually put this print on their walls, and I'm so so flattered about that. Great to see that you like it. So you can win the original version of this print in the giveaway, and it is a little bigger, as you can see. Next is the card with information about all the supplies and the scroller challenge, in which you are supposed to use all the supplies that comes in the box to create something from a given word. And this month's word or phrase is Happy Cat. We thought it would be fitting with this month's box. And the first supply in the box is this lead pencil from Stedler, and this is what I'm currently using when making the finer, cleaner sketches. It is a 2H, so it is a bit harder, which makes it a little easier to erase, and it doesn't turn out as dark as soft lead, and it doesn't smudge as easy. And speaking of erasing, next we have a Stedler eraser pencil, and this is also one of my go-to supplies. I use this a lot when I'm drawing and sketching, and it is like a regular pencil, but instead of lead inside, it is an eraser. So you can erase on tiny, tiny spots, and then you can just swipe away the eraser dust with a brush on the other end of the pencil, which is quite nifty. And when it becomes flat, you can just sharpen it as a regular pencil pencil and it works best if you use a sharp good quality sharpener I noticed don't use the plastic ones Next we have yet another Stedler product and this is a 308 pigment liner and it says it's supposed to be a 0.3mm on the info card but I got the 0.5mm for some reason which I don't really mind. I don't normally use this brand but I do love using fine liners in both 0.3 and 0.5mm but I've tried this brand before and I think it's really really good. Then we have a thick brushable two-tone brush pen, and this comes in a bunch of different colors, and the one I've got is bluish violet, which I love. So this got two brush nibs in two different color tones, one lighter and one darker, and it doesn't show up that well on camera though. And I've got one of these already, but in black and gray, and I sometimes use it for outlining when I want thicker lines. 
Next is a bunch of Spectrum NAR markers, six of them to be precise, and it is a full set of these that you can win in the giveaway, and I also made a whole review of these that you can watch if you like to, I will leave a link to it here somewhere, I talk about what I think about these pens, and these are not really my go-to markers, and I will talk more about that soon, why we decided to go with the Spectrum NAR markers instead, I do however like these pens for what they are, they got one soft bullet nib that is like a semi brush nib kind of and I really really like it and one wider chisel nib on the other end and they got this very interesting hexagon shape then the last supplies are two sheets of cans on Bristol board, 250 grams, so they are thick and sturdy. I really like this paper, I almost only use Bristol board when working with markers. I have a few different brands that I like to use, but this was the first one that I ever tried, and I think it's great. So that's all the supplies in the box, and I'm really excited to create a happy cat with them, so let's go! So as usual, I'm trying out the supplies to see what I got to work with, even if I am familiar with most of the materials. I know that the Spectrum NAR markers don't really match the colors on their caps, so I needed to do a little color chart. I've got three markers that looks like they're supposed to be different shades of violet, but in real, one is sort of dusty rose, one is cerise neon pink, and one is neon peach, so none of them were really violet, which I thought was was a little sad, but I do think that the Spectrum NAR markers are nice to work with, even if the color codes are a bit off. So to the drawing, since I almost always draw portraits of cats, I thought it would be nice to draw the whole cat's body for once, I wanted it to be different from the artwork in the box, and because of the colors I had to work with, I decided to make a hairless cat with a sweater because they are so adorable, and I've got tagged in so so many Scrollerbox happy cat drawings on Instagram now, and they are all amazing, I love seeing what you create, thanks for sharing it with me. The eraser pencil comes really handy when erasing on smaller spots, I've used this for a long long time now, but on larger areas it is easier to use a regular eraser because this one is very small. Also nice that it has a brush to swipe away the dust with, so you don't smudge the graphite with your hand, and as I mentioned before, you will need a good sharp sharpener to be able to sharpen it properly. I will not go too much in depth about the Spectrum NAR markers since I already reviewed them one time, but there is a lot of ink in one stroke, so you get a nice and even layer of colors, and what I also like about them is that the bullet nib is a bit softer and slightly flexible. I used a Sig brushable pen on top of the marker to create shading, and I also used it for the background. I love this pen, and I love that you can first lay down a lighter color, and then create shading with a darker tone with the same pen. Very very nifty, and I want more colors to play with. When I first talked with Chris on Scrollerbox about what supplies to include in the box, my first choice was actually the Windsor Newton brush markers since they are quite new and they are awesome, but because of various reasons it wasn't possible right now, and I didn't want to wait until March for this box to happen, so we decided to go with a cheaper but still good alternative, the Spectrum NAR markers. So on the bright side, more markers and supplies could be included in the box. This is actually the second drawing I made with these supplies. I made one drawing first, but it didn't turn out as I wanted. And since I got two paper sheets in the box, I decided to make a second one. And I think this one has more personality in it, and I love drawing cats in clothes. I like the style too, it's a bit different from what I normally do, I think. I like the Stedler Fineliner, the nib felt a little softer and slightly flexible too, just a tiny bit, which I think gives better control and nice line weight. I usually use the Unipin Fineliner, but I wouldn't mind start using these as well, I love working with fineliners. 
The cans on Bristol board is great to work on, the markers blend nicely on it and I can really recommend this paper to anyone that works with markers and the colors looks great on it as well and depending on what paper you use the colors can turn out different so it is quite important which paper you choose and it took me a long long time to go from regular drawing paper to Bristol board and I wish I had found out about this type of paper sooner. I've heard that some people didn't like or appreciate the challenge being happy cat because they thought it was too limiting and not very inspiring, but guys, it's supposed to be a challenge. Also, you can still use the supplies to draw whatever you want, it's not like you have to do the challenge just because it's there. And to be honest, in my opinion, there have been other challenges that has been even more limiting. And yeah, it isn't called a challenge for nothing. All artwork I've seen so far are so different from each other, which I think is really really fun. I think you are so creative. Yeah, I hope you like this drawing and this scroller box. I am so honored to be the featured artist and I am so glad that I had a chance to share some of my go-to supplies with you. And don't forget to check the info box below for more info about the giveaway, where you can win October's box, markers and my original artwork. Subscribe to Scrollerbox if you think it seems interesting, I think it's great and no, I'm not paid to say that. If you missed out on this box, you can actually buy it on their website afterwards, you can get all the boxes afterwards as long as they are still available. Link to that will also be in the info box below. That's all for now, thanks Scrollerbox and thanks for watching and keep drawing my happy cats, bye!